Annenberg's comments, he did not respond. You've seen the latest tent city from Sky 7 and from the ground. And now we're getting a closer look at the homeless campers themselves before they're evicted on Sunday. You might be surprised by what Action 7 News reporter Mike Springer found out. Time is running out for the 30 people living off of Route 66 in the foothills of Bernalillo County. By the end of the weekend, they'll be forced to move on again. The latest in a string of 10 cities to be shut down. But the people living here say there's a lot about them you don't know. Every time we walk out of here, we get passed by vehicles on the road that sit there and cajole us, yell at us, saying that we're lazy, good for nothing, drug addicts. This woman who goes by Wolf says those stereotypes need to change. She says some of the people here have jobs and some are attending college. We're not bad people. We're just having a run of bad luck. This group has formed a community called Camp Metro, working together to take care of day-to-day -day necessities. They say everybody in the community here helps out from cleaning up the dishes to cooking meals. They have a latrine, portable grill, and even a community dinner table. And while a lot of the concerns over these 10 cities has centered around crime, Wolf says there's no tolerance for that here. It's not that we haven't had our problems. You know, we've had arguments. We've had to kick out some unsavory people. The group votes on all big decisions, and a really big one is just hours away. They'll have to decide what to do next when a no trespassing notice takes effect Sunday night. All we want is help. You know, with uh, housing, with just help in general. Many of the campers we talked to say they'd love to have a place like Hope Village in Las Cruces, a self regulated homeless camp sanctioned by the city. So far, local leaders have not expressed much support for that idea. Back to you. Thanks, Mike. New at 10, arson investigators 